That's all right. Welcome. How you doing, folks? So you've reached us on a very windy day here in northeast Scotland, and um, we're just hanging out in the market garden, doing what we do. And that was Rosa just applying some uh, nettle feed to a few of the beds around in the market garden. Uh, she's just putting it onto the tomatoes at the moment, just at the base of the plants. We've still got quite a bad problem with green fly on our tomatoes, so we're doing everything we can to try and rectify that problem. We introduced the um, adult ladybirds, so hopefully they're doing the job for us. And unfortunately, we couldn't believe our bad luck. A few of our cabbage plants up in the Brassica rotation have got cabbage root fly again. Last year we had a terrible uh, problem with cabbage root fly and lost a huge amount of our crops just over a couple of weeks. So it was saddening to see this yesterday. With all this terrible weather with the cold and the rain, and how slow a season it is for us to now suddenly get hit with aphids and cabbage root fly um, is certainly testing our willpower as market gardeners. So hence why we're giving everything a good feed with some homemade fertilizer um, plus looking at every other natural alternative we can think of to combat these pests. Anyway, I guess that's just part of it all. So um, today we're going to be working in the market garden. We've got some uh, beetroots to transplant so I've been preparing a bed for them we've got a salad bed to prep and sow for our salad rotations and um, we've got another section of radish seed to sow so it's just a day of working in the market garden a bit of bed prep, bit of sowing general upkeep of our small garden here in Scotland <laughs> So that's us just finished planting out the beets. We've given them a good water in and fleeced them over because it's still getting pretty cold here, um, although it's just heated up right now, which is great. And um, given a nettle feed to the garden, uh, pretty stinky stuff. But now we're gonna be prepping a bed to sow some more of our salads. We've got a kind of quick rotation with our mixed salads that we sow, and now it's time for us to do a new bed. And we just thought we'd show you how we prepare the bed and the kind of sowing of the mix of salads that we do across the bed. So first things first with preparation for sowing our salads is removing the tarpaulin that we've had in place these last few months. And we use these black plastic silage sheets which we get from our local agricultural merchant. If we're not using a plot we cover it and we're trying to do this more and more. It really helps pay off in time because we're not having to deal with so much weeding. So if you have a look at the soil 
below the tarps here, you can see just how weed free it is. These beds have been covered pretty much since last season. Um, I think we had a cabbage crop in here last year. Just cover them up with the tarps, and leave it alone, and then just pull it back when we need to work the beds in preparation for, for a planting. So I'm just gonna bring up the BCS and tiller just to relieve any compaction that's formed over the last few months um, and just create a seed bed so that we can sow our rows of mixed salad seeds. That's the beds tilled and uh, soil loosened up, ready for sowing into. Next stage, I'm just gonna give things a little bit of a rake, um, just to rake out the stones, level the bed ready for our cedar, and uh, just to reshape the beds a bit, um, because I can never drive that thing straight. So yeah, just a bit of bed raking is the next step. out some of our basil uh, they're all quite small so um, they didn't really grow very well last year but we did plant them quite a bit later than this so the hope is that they grow really well over the season and that it's just been a bit too cold for them so far um, but also I know that basil are quite a good companion plant to tomatoes as well so the thing here is to interplant them around the tomatoes here and also some chili which are a few chili that we have planted over there that are looking a bit sad and sorry for themselves as well so in a way this bed is full of small things that feel a bit sorry for themselves. I feel positive about it because it's a really beautiful bed and it's all flowery and things from self-seeded uh, calendula and we've got some chamomile in here as well. Alright, that's the bed raked, stones removed, and just reshaped a bit. Um, we've got a nice tilt now, a nice loose crumbly topsoil so that we can run the cedar through and get a nice seed to soil contact so we can hopefully get a good germination. Um, so that's the next thing to do, we're going to go and get the Jang cedar, find the appropriate seed roller that we need for our salad mixes, and we're going to do a sowing of salad in here. So this is the Jang cedar, and this is our main cedar that we use throughout the entire market garden. This really is a time-saving machine. I don't think we would have been able to do the market garden as well as we have done over these last few years without this tool. So the seed goes into this hopper, and we choose the appropriate um, seed roller, which picks up the seed. And as we walk along the beds, um, a furrow is opened up, the seed is dropped in, the furrow is covered up and this back wheel tamps it down for us. And this means we can really seed a large bed of, of salad or carrots um, in, in a matter of uh, minutes if not seconds. It's a precision seeder and it really will drop uh, carrot seed at a precise spacing that you've chosen, um, which really means that you don't have to thin. Um, in fact, we, we never have to thin our carrots, so it's really helpful.
So the seed mix that we're going to do in the salad bed just now is going to be a third red Russian kale as a baby leaf and then two thirds mixture of mizuna, green and snow, purple frills and giant red mustard. So the roller that we're going to be using for seeding this salad mix is the X24 and uh, this seems to work pretty well for things like giant red mustard and mizuna. So we're going to take out the hopper and put this seed roller, the seed roller in here. Put the seed in the hopper, fit the hopper back in and get rolling. So I managed 10 rows of salad in that 75 centimeters bed. So now I'm gonna just do the last sort of third of the bed in red Russian kale. We should get about nine rows in there. Then it's time to water it in and get a fleece over it just to protect it until it germinates. That's that better salad sewn. I've given it a good water in. I've just covered it with this uh, fleece just to aid germination and to protect it from birds eating the seed or a cat coming and scratching it off or whatever. Just basically giving it a good start in life. So that's pretty much the end of the day for us today. Just quite a relaxed day in the market garden. Prepping beds, sowing seeds, just tending to the crops. One of the last things we need to do tonight is just harvest some comfrey. Rosa picks comfrey every day and feeds it to the goats. Uh, so she's going to come and just take a crop of that and then uh, head up to the goats, do our evening chores. All right, that's the end of the day for us here in North East Scotland. It's a simple day in the market garden, prepping beds, sowing seeds, doing what we need to do to keep everything ticking over. So we're heading out now for a beer walk with the goats. Just gonna herd them up round the property up to the top pond and sit and take in the view of a beer or two. Hope you enjoyed this vlog and if you like it and you wanna see more, then please subscribe and tell your friends. A big thanks to all our subscribers that we've got, our regular viewers, it really means a lot to us to hear from you, to have your comments. That's us just over the 700 subscriber marks, that's really incredible. Thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed to our channel. Um, I didn't think we'd get to 710 or whatever it is uh, this soon after starting only back in January with our first vlog. Hope you're all well out there and until next time, we'll see you soon. Bye!